Last week, we set off on a three-day sail from Egypt to Saudi Arabia with our new crew, Bella, Mara, Ethan, Coleman, and Adri. We got docked at the Jetty Yacht Club and hid away in the three bedrooms, which are the only places on the boat the air conditioners worked. It's very hot. <laughs> Unfortunately, the passage was enough for one of our guests to call it quits. Yeah, I'm actually going home. But yeah, boat life is not for me. There's just so many aspects to it that it would drive me crazy, so I don't know how these people do it for six years. Okay, I'm just saying goodbye to Coleman. He's going to the airport this morning. It's five o'clock in the morning. He's saying his goodbyes to everybody. It was a pleasure. Be safe. All right, bye Coleman. Bye. See ya. So Coleman left the other day. We are still here at the Jetty Yacht Club. We're waiting on the air conditioning units. They should be in today. So I hope the next clip you see is Keith installing air conditioning units. That's one thing that kind of stinks with boat life is that when we get to a big city where we can order things, um, that's what we do when we have to wait till they arrive. So we're waiting on these air conditioning units. Right now we're headed to the grocery store and the mall in our Uber. Let's go guys. That's, a, that's something we can do while we're here is uh, provision up nicely and uh, do plenty of shopping. This it was one isn't so bad. bad. <laughs> it's I'm gonna cram in an Uber. Yep. Our air conditioners are here. CTM sent them all the way from America to Saudi Arabia. Got them in like seven days. The CTM units. And that's the unit. Are they all the same size? All the, well, yeah, this is this is a, so I got two 12,000s and uh, the rest of them are 10,000 BTU. This is a 10,000 BTU, so this will be the first one we install over there. Okay. And uh, we'll put that bad boy right in. This is the first unit you're gonna install? Yeah. So that Finn can come back and sleep in here? Yeah. So these look a bit different from the other ones. Are they like better or what? No, they're better because of the design. They got titanium coils. On the old Dometic ones, they didn't have titanium coils. And so when the compressor went out, it was caused by water leaking in the coils. Mm. Now, these won't leak. If the compressor goes out, you can change a $400 compressor instead of changing a $2,000 air conditioner. Mm. Whereas oh. the Dometic ones you couldn't do that with, which sucked. Same dimensions, yeah? Yep, look at that. Jack had to pay close attention to how to hook it up because the next two units will be squeezed into a very small area and he'll have to climb in there and do the install himself. It's working. Oh, it already feels better in here. We got one down. Two to go. Two for the salon? Mm-hmm. Are you going to crawl in the little hole and do it? Hey. Uh, I have to, yes. Oh, yeah. When Privilege built this boat, they put these two AC units down in there. And they did it before they put the floor in. And, you know, they did a great little neat install, but they never thought about, well, how are you going to get to that? Yeah. And so in order to get to that, you got to pull this whole bench out, these curved walls. I don't know how they mount or bolt in i don't know how they come out um, and so this whole paneling system's got to come out and then you've got to have some new veneer because you're probably going to run this veneer laminate on top of this wood to get into that that deal or just have jack install the whole thing he just has well, to we're going to try that's what we're going that's what we're going for take instructions from you that's what we're going for okay all right so we've got the 12k unit the first one going down in this hole it's hard to get to i've installed the micro air easy start that makes it where the sink can start real easy without having to overload everything the generator and all that kind of stuff we're going to put another one of these on the other unit it's going to be sitting right beside it it's a very tight fit privilege didn't do a very good job of designing where these acs go for the salon and we're going to have two uh 12k units running right beside each other and uh off of one 500 pump these things are smaller actually smaller than the 10k units i took out of here so uh 
the challenge is going to be getting them in there and getting them mounted. No more than them. You need help? I don't know. All right, he's going in. Going in. Two, three, just a little bit. Okay, I got it. My boy's doing good. You having to walk him through everything? Yeah, he's, he's colorblind, so the brown and green oh, wires are hard. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, I don't want to hear it. It's all right. Good. We're going to take a picture of it before you put it together to make sure it's right. It's a good thing CTM Marine made their air conditioner small. Yeah. Because if they were any bigger, we'd be in trouble. <laughs> I went in that hole, and we thought we was going to have to call emergency services to pull me out. <laughs> I can get in there, but I don't know if I can get out. I can get her in. You're going to have to pull me out. You're doing great. <laughs> yo, yo. I got the sideways headlamp. My name is... Jimmy Jimmy X Lax. <laughs> so this one's going in right beside the other one. Thank you, Privilege. Right next to it. Right next to it. You think you can do any good in that little hole? Yeah, it'd be better to have them than I need them. Yeah, get in that little hole. Come on, daddy boy. Come on. <laughs> one handed helper. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching so much. Remember to smash that like button. Yeah, let's get it mounted down. Mounted down, okay. That way it's, it's secure. Okay. Or you can get it wired in, you're there. Oh, dude, I'm so tired right now. Check that back one. You tell me if that's cool. Right? I think it's getting cold. There it is. Both well, could be getting cold. I thought. This one's not before. The cold? Definitely, yeah. What did he say? Definitely? That one for sure. This one. Both units are now working perfectly. Jack did a fantastic job. We went again to Old Town Jetta to let our guests experience the rich history and try some authentic Arabian food. Our new friend Hassan also let us hang at his place for a day and play with his toys. Thank you, Hassan, for an epic day. Let's go! So we're gonna take the old one out here and we're gonna put the new one in. I think I can get it done in 30 minutes. That's how great these CTMs are. Keith also changed out both aft bedrooms AC units. And fortunately, this area was big enough for him to climb into. Okay, so this morning we're getting gas here at the Jetty Yacht Club, and you guys have asked about the price of gasoline here. And if you go to the gas station in your car, you're gonna pay 68 cents a gallon for diesel. For regular gasoline, it's like $2 a gallon. However, being here as a, a, a cruiser, an international yachty, we have to pay international prices for fuel. So unfortunately, we are paying $5 a gallon for diesel here and I don't know how much the gasoline is. We haven't even dropped the dinghy, um, so we don't even need gas in the dinghy, which is gasoline. The boat takes diesel, but uh, yeah, $5 a gallon for diesel here in Saudi Arabia. And unfortunately, they won't let us take our jerry cans to the gas station. That's not allowed for yachties. They're getting premium rates for fuel, um, which kind of stinks, but uh, it is what it is. So we're gonna get a little bit of fuel 
and then I think we're gonna take off soon and head up the coast of the Red Sea. So we're looking forward to that. Everybody's looking forward to that. Everybody's looking forward to getting off of the marina, off of the dock, and out at anchor. So, a bit of a problem. The hose doesn't have a fitting, and it's too wide to fit further than this thing in here, so kind of in a pickle. And we were going to leave today, but apparently there is some issues with permissions of where we can anchor up the coast. And so Keith had a meeting this morning talking about where can we go, where can we anchor, and there's some uh, restrictions. So we've got to work that out before we can take off um, and head north. So that's kind of frustrating, but uh, we'll see how, how it works out today. Yeah. But, then, but then you didn't say, I need to know what 12 spots you need. You didn't say, tell me when he sent me that. Yeah, we got it fixed. Pick 12 spots. Okay, we will try. <laughs> Ready? Slowly. Slow. Saudi Arabia just opened up in the last four years. So they're not used to cruisers being in their country. They are working absolutely hard as they can to acclimate to the world of tourism and to yachts cruising up and down the coastline. That being said, they don't have the mechanisms in place to facilitate freedom of movement like we're used to, like yachts are used to. They will have it. I can assure you in the next 12 to 24 months, Saudi Arabia will get this conquered. These people, they don't mess around. We're just a little bit early. And so they're all working together to solve the problem. Since we are the first yachts to actually go up the coast of Saudi Arabia, in our size of boat and do what we're fixing to do. All the questions, the government asking, all the questions we're asking are just getting answered for the first time in like a hundred years. And so uh, it's a little frustrating, but it's exciting because these people aren't messing around. I mean, if, I, if we were working with some people who didn't really want us here and they were lazy and they just didn't care and all they want to do is take your money out of your back pocket, I would leave, I'd just leave. But these people, these Saudis, they want us here, the Jetty Yacht Club, they want all this to happen. And so we've been working all day long, putting maps together, because all this is uncharted. Uh, there's never been a, a company come in here and chart all of this, so it's it's all uncharted. And so, uh, you know, we have to get through these reefs. We got to, you know, we, we go during the day when the sun's high, so we can get through all the reefs and everything that's along the coast here. Beautiful, untouched scenery out here. And so that's what we're dealing with, and, and they're working hard. The, the Jetty Yacht Club, uh, uh, the, the agent that we have is, is working really hard, and uh, I'm keeping them busy nonstop. They're probably starting to hate me by now. I'm just kidding, but <laughs> I would be hating me by now because I just keep asking questions. So uh, we're getting it taken care of, and tomorrow we'll uh, take off and start this journey up to Aqaba along the Saudi Arabian coast. It's going to be wonderful. It's, it's going to be big. We don't know how it's going to end up yet. It could be big. It could be. It could be gigantic. It could be tremendous. It's going to be a tremendous. It's just tremendous. A lot of people are afraid. I'm not afraid. It's going to be tremendous. Now <laughs> we're ready to park the dock and head out into the ocean. Bye. Copy that, Captain. Now affirmative. You can proceed outside the harbor and have safe trip, Captain. Standing by, join one seven one six out. Roger, uh, thank you guys for all your help. We appreciate JYC and we'll see you down the road. Bye, Tufik. Thank you for everything. He's a good guy. He is. Thank you, sir. They've been so helpful. Yes, you know, we've not been here long, but it feel like these guys that, you know, Toothpick and his crew, Ahmad, Adrian, Colin, all of them, they're just like fan. It's hard to leave them because we just kind of bonded with them. I don't know. Just the way I feel. And we got a lot of comments, a, a, a little bit of negative about, um, Saudi Arabia and the, the history it has with the United States. Obviously, there's some bad people in Saudi Arabia. There's bad people in the U.S. Um, Hitler was German. We don't ban Germany. We don't like stop going there. Um, not 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 everything is is what the media makes it out to be. So take that for what it's worth. We had a great time in Saudi. We felt very safe. Everyone was very friendly, and. Um, 
hopefully we will be welcomed back there again. The air conditioners work absolutely wonderful. The house is cool, everybody's still asleep, but I think that we caught up with Aquarius. Hello! It's Aquarius! That's cool. Good morning. Good morning. So how are we not drifting in? To them, or are they not drifting into us? Well, we have it on autopilot. He has his on autopilot, and so the boat's autopilots tend to drift a little bit. But his boat puts off more of a wake and under wake that as we get close, it pushes us back off. His boat doesn't drift as much because it's a keel boat, and he has a big keel down there. Whereas our boat will drift more because it's a catamaran. Interesting. Y'all are sitting here in the air conditioning, aren't you? Yeah. We might turn it off when we uh, drop anchor. Oh. Just so we can get hot, and then we'll turn it back on in the yeah. evening, you know. Do yeah. so you know when we'll be there? Uh, he said about one o'clock. Oh. It is 11 now, a couple hours. Yeah, that's fun. It's over 600 nautical miles from Jeddah all the way to the Gulf of Aqaba. We decided to take our time and do day hops, about 50 to 60 miles a day, dropping anchor at a new place every night or two. We taught the new crew how to keep an eye out for bombies or shallow reefs, and after a five hour motor sail, we found a nice place to anchor for the evening. Look at that. It does have the hole in it. Is it ready to go? Or oh, Bella, is it ready Sweet. to go? Sweet. Yeah, don't waste it though. Ha ha ha. Look at that, Jack. Shout out to Andy to Phillips for making these sick jerseys for us with the holes in them. And turn around. See the back. Look at that. Oh, Let it float away. Gosh. That's just. You got the Cabrina? Priceless. Uh, and you got to let it float away. Excellent. It's like the whole shebang. Jack's going to foil. I'm going to try. I don't know how successful I'm gonna be. Maybe I should have used the bigger wing. Ethan, are you gonna try? We'll see. Depends on how Jack does. It could fly cut. Yeah. Mella? You could get that trainer cut out. Might. No, I might. Do that it's the water they it's trust me enough. <laughs> get out there and you just go away. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye, everyone. Right, here we go. Let's see if he can do it. Let's see if he can do it. I don't know. I don't know. It's stress. That's how you do that. All right. I tried to do a jump. No. You failed. I thought you tried to do a lump. <laughs> <laughs> a lump. I will Can pay I you twenty dollars if you just drink that. Like she, all the olives. No. No. I Do it. You gotta try it. You're Italian. You're gonna love it. No. You're Italian? Yeah. I've already tried them. No I thought you were Floridian. No. I I've had olives before. Two in one, guys, baby. Guys, we need to. Your guys are going to the med. We need to get into the diet. Dude, I've had olives before. I don't like them. But thank you. I tried them. Let me. Let me try. And do I dislike yeah. them very much? I don't like it. Yeah, no. It's no. So yeah, no. I'm it's never so good. Not try that. And it's good for you. Obviously, everything no. Europeans eat is good for you. That's like saying 99% <laughs> or everything Americans eat is bad, bad for, for you. <laughs> exactly, but it's American, which the means European bad. stuff. <laughs> the European stuff tastes bad, but it's good for you. The American stuff tastes good, but it's bad for you. You're gonna hurt yourself. I'm looking. Uh, so where would like you rather live? America. 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 Oh, yeah. Why are we America. all in here trying to cook? I don't know. What you I'm cooking? waiting for you to yeah. make food. Oh, it's 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 no. Oh Lord, here we go. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. 
sang that song like 20 times and I'm so fat. The first two times was fun and now it's just <laughs> annoying. It's annoying. On the internet. Yeah. Ethan, what's a value you're unwilling to compromise on? Share it to the world. Probably on honesty. And honesty. Hey. Wow. Like, Amen hey, to the Lord for that one. But how though? How? How? Yeah. Not lying. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, but like when when other people do it, or yeah. like something that you you'll always be honest, or both. I think both are really important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next question. I want to. Uh, I got one person. Um, like I don't want to try to. Do you guys individualistic? Like I don't want to. Like if somebody is wearing a skirt and stuff and it's popular, I don't want to be wearing that skirt and stuff. It's popular. To be on a function, oh, wow. like independent, like Finn said, okay. basically. Finn has a question. Different. All right, guys. Do you really like sailing Zatara? <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a good one, honestly. What do you guys think? Honestly, I'm not so sure. Ones. After being with them for like, like seven years, I don't think so. Yeah, they're pretty like weird. Like doing something because everybody else is doing. It. Unless it's right. like they if it's harmful. That's that's like actually, unless yeah, it's something easy. Is too, like, it I've been waiting the whole trip for this. I am so excited. Awesome, let's do it. <laughs> While Ethan, Jack, and Keith went scuba diving, me and the girls did a bit of snorkeling and swimming. so happy just to dive in. Keith and Jack were like, oh, it wasn't that good. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm just excited to be in the water. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I said it was kind of dead. Yeah, it was good. How'd you do? It was good. It was good. Me and Ethan swam back to the boat. <laughs> I know. We overshot it by like 30 meters. <laughs> like, there you go. <laughs> in Jeddah for a week I think it was and it was great at first um, for like the first two days it was fun we got to go grocery shopping we got to go to all the modern conveniences we got to get all our food that we wanted all the Wi-Fi in the world you know we we're in Jeddah for I think about six or seven days we went to the mall a lot then it kind of dragged out and it got really slow and we ended up doing the same thing every single day you know the routine was just go to the mall go to Starbucks sit in the boat go to the mall go to Starbucks and it just got really repetitive and really <sighs> we went to Old Town Jetta that was really cool that kind of reminded me of Luxor which made me happy because I really like Luxor a bunch of cats everywhere and seeing the cats reminded me of my sister <laughs> So, yeah, I miss her. Love you, Lola. So, we finally got our air conditioners installed. Praise the Lord. Air conditioning is amazing. It's something we don't really think about in the States, but once you're out here in the middle of Saudi Arabia, where it is almost 100 degrees every day, air conditioning is definitely appreciated. Once we left, it was great. I got zero seasickness this time, so that was amazing. We're on Anchorage right now and yesterday we dove the coral reef which was a first time for me. I have had lots of first times here. I got to go scuba diving for the first time out in the middle of the ocean. I was so excited. This is like sailing has been a great time. Hanging out at ports with everybody has been great but this scuba diving is what I have been waiting for. I got certified just before I came out onto the boat and now I finally get to go. I am so excited. I'm having a blast on the boat. 
but I'm also kind of looking forward to seeing my family again. But right now I'm having a blast. I'm having a really, really good time on the boat. I was reading through some of the comments and somebody said, hey, chill out on the finger waving. Um, hey, that I like to finger wave. Like this was my thing. Everybody else kind of like jumped on. And so, no, it wasn't. Was it my thing? I, feel, I do that normally. So like even when I'm back in Indiana and Florida, like I, I do that in all my pictures. So chill out, like, what? Coleman, it's your turn. Coleman? Oh, <laughs> wait, Coleman's not here. <laughs> Coleman left, which the day he left, cause he left at 5 a.m. in the morning, but like that day, I don't know. It's like, I don't know, maybe it was like the fact that Coleman left or I was kind of sad that day. I've been um, feeling the dynamics change a little bit. Everybody's starting to feel comfortable around each other. We were already comfortable around each other, but just like, you know, talking about deep stuff or having deep conversations on deck. I am feeling so much more comfortable with everybody at this point. I feel like I know everybody now. I'm like sisters with all the girls. We pretty much tell each other like everything and it's not weird. We have super long deep conversations at night. It's really, really awesome. Now we're here! Out on Anchorage and sailing Zatara. It's probably gonna be used for blackmail later. Uh, the vorige keer van de mensen het super leuk dat ik in Nederland, Nederlands ging praten, dus ook voor de, de Belgische kijkers, um, Afrikaanse kijkers, mensen die Nederlands kunnen verstaan of iets in de brand van Nederlands kunnen verstaan. De groetjes aan jullie. En um, Als je dit hoort, comment, laat een comment achter met oranje boven. <laughs> Oké, okay. goodbye!